Bloomberg's online campaign tests Facebook, Twitter rules. Mike Bloomberg's stockpile of cash, swarm of employees and paid social media influencers are testing the abilities of online platforms, and his democratic challenges, to keep up with an expensive internet campaign. Despite the billionaire and former New York City mayor's late entry into the presidential race, he has far outspent his rivals on nearly every platform in a matter of weeks. His unconventional online strategy is heavy on memes and the paid support of prominent social media users, blurring the lines between political advertising, satire and misinformation. That has not only boosted the platform's bottom lines, but has also revealed how easily their policies can be bent. We're in the position where tech companies can't even apply their own policies to what we were seeing, said Mark Yablanovsky, chief technology officer at DS Political, a digital advertising firm that has worked with several Democratic campaigns this year. It's a different paradigm, and this mix is likely to be effective. Bloomberg's self-funded campaign allows him to try out new online tactics and quickly buy an online community that other candidates have spent years building out. Bloomberg has so far spent $55 million on Facebook and Instagram ads, $9 million of that in the past week. That compares to $33 million spent so far by Republican President Donald Trump, and $10 million overall spent by Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, a Democratic rival. Bloomberg even leads on Snapchat, an app popular for sharing photos and short videos, where political ad spending is negligible. All the presidential campaigns combined have spent roughly $788,000, with Bloomberg's campaign spending almost all of it, $686,000. Earlier this month Bloomberg exposed a loophole in Instagram's policies to run humorous, self-deprecating messages promoting himself on accounts of popular Instagram personalities with millions of younger followers. The platform had discouraged campaigns from paying other Instagram accounts but amended its policies to allow them hours after the pro-Bloomberg posts went up, as long as they disclose who paid for the sponsored content. Facebook, which owns Instagram, didn't collect revenue for the sponsored content so it won't catalog the posts for public viewing in Facebook's ad database, where anyone can see how much a politician spent on messages. His campaign has stirred up trouble on Twitter, too. Last week. Twitter suspended nearly 70 accounts for posting identical pro-Bloomberg messages, in violation of Twitter's rules against spam. Bloomberg's campaign said the messages were taken from an app that allows campaign staffers and volunteers to share the language with their friends and family. The campaign said it did not create any of the accounts that were taken down by Twitter on Frida. For more on this story, visit the news article link.